Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a HTML contact form for your website. We're going to go ahead and start off right away today. We're going to connect to my server. Okay, and we have a... Oh, what's that doing there? Okay, uh, so on my server we have uh, a directory called contact form and we're going to create a new file. We're going to call it index.html and we're going to open that up for editing. Here we go. We're going to change that title to contact form. And down here in the body, we're going to create a new form by going to insert form and selecting the first option. Action. We're going to set that to form underscore process dot php. Uh, you can call this whatever you want, the form process, you can call that uh, I like apples and bananas or whatever the heck you want, uh, as long as it ends in .php. Um, we're going to get to that later on, the processor. Uh, method, we're going to set to post, and name, we're going to call it contact form. Wonderful. Give ourselves some space to work. We're going to go back in. And we're going to put a text field. We're going to call this first underscore name. And we're going to click OK. And we're just going to write, uh, if you notice when you go into the design view, uh, you have the text box, but the user has no idea uh, of knowing what you, know, you want them to type in there. So we need to just write first name and put a colon that way the user knows what to uh, what to enter into that box. So now we're just going to copy this whole thing and we're going to put it down here and change it to last name and we're going to change the input name to last name also. Okay, and we're going to copy that one more time and we're going to call this email uh, email, excuse me Okay, and then in here, we're going to call it email, just one word to keep things simple. Clean this up a little bit. And here we go. Oh, we should, uh, there we go, space them out a little bit. Put them each in their own paragraph. That works nicely. Okay. Next, we have to insert form. And we're going to go to text area. We're going to call this message columns, rows, uh, let's see, let's set that 5 by 5, that should be, actually, we don't need that, that's not important, okay, and we have a message area, but we need to label that message area, your message, okay, and then we're going to go back to form, and we're going to find the button. Here we go. Button. We're going to call this submit. And then if we go down to our toolbar, yeah, we just make sure that it says action and it, you, it select uh, submit. Now um, we're going to just copy this one more time. And instead of submit, we're going to make this one a reset form button. And we're going to change the ID to reset. Okay, so that completes our uh, form, our HTML form. Now we have to do our PHP processor for this. So to do that, we're going to use PHP. We're going to create another file on the folder, uh, on the server, sorry. And we're going to call it form underscore process dot PHP. Now, if you named your file something differently before, uh, under form action, um, you need to make sure that you call that file whatever you named it before. Okay, so we're going to open this up and delete everything that's here. Gonna open our PHP file and then close it. Now what we have to do is we have to set our variables um, using the PHP command dollar sign post and the variable. So we're going to say dollar sign first name is equal to 
post first underscore name. And that needs to be like that. And then we're going to put a semicolon at the end. We're going to rinse and repeat <laughs> and do the same thing, but with last name. Okay. And then we have to do this for every other uh, form form uh, entry that we had. So email, you need to make sure that you copy it exactly as you had it here. Um, if you don't, it's going to mess things up later on. So dollar sign email is equal to dollar sign underscore post all capitals bracket one parenthesis thing email close close and semicolon last but not least our message so copy and paste this again and just change email to message and once again over here okay So now we have our variable set that retrieves uh, the information sent by the form. So now we just need two more things. Uh, two, that's going to be who we want the message to go to. So um, it's going to be your email or whatever email you want the information from the form to go to. Uh, that's what you're going to put. We're just going to put my email at, oops at email.com <coughs> oh, excuse me now uh, don't actually put that put your actual email you know um, and subject is going to be new message okay we're going to say mail and you need to define a couple of uh, variables when you want to mail something first being dollar sign to who it's going to the subject dollar sign subject now these are all variables that we defined right here dollar sign subject uh, dollar sign message which is going to take the information from this field right here and then we're going to say um, we're going to define the header of the message uh, this is going to say from and we're going to put a dot and we're going to put first name and that is going to um, that's going to make sure it says who the uh, the name of the person that sent it uh, oh we forgot last name dollar sign last name okay I forgot a period between them there we go and we're going to put a semicolon at the end we're then going to write echo which is pretty much to print a message on the screen and we're going to say your message has been sent and then we're going to put a colon upload our file and you're done now from here uh, you could do a couple of things uh, excuse me you can add more fields if you want you can put um, yeah there's different options a radio button um, we'll just call that test for now essentially what a radio button is um, it only allows you to select one option so if we put multiple of these just for demonstration purposes um, when you show this on a website it'll only allow the user to click on one of them uh, they cannot click on more than one if you want to give the option to click on multiple options at once you can use the checkbox uh, and that can allow them to select several options now we can go ahead and oh yes before I forget uh, this is w3schools.com um, this is a good website to come to for research uh, resources uh, as, as well as to get some you know helpful scripts um, so this is just you know this is similar to uh, what ours is um, not quite the same they go more into depth with validation uh, you can take a look at that if you want so if we go to and slash contact form I never uploaded the file again silly me 
Well, first let's delete all that stuff. Okay. Upload the two of them. And refresh the page. And here's our contact form. You type in all your information here. Uh, we're not going to fill that in. Um, message here. Actually, we And then when we sim click submit, it'll submit it and say your message has been sent. Now we defined the email to go to at to my email at email.com, which doesn't exist. Uh, so when you set that to your actual email, it will send the email. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. If you need help with anything, feel free to leave a comment below, email me, whatever. Uh, I'd love to help you guys. And uh, until next episode, have a good day.